Okay. Hey guys, we're starting off this vlog in my bed because we're gonna talk and there's a lot going on. So we're just gonna get right into it because I have a lot to say and so much going on that I haven't been talking about because there's just been a lot going on behind the scenes. I mean, I only post like once a week, so obviously you don't see that much. Yeah, there's a lot going on because a couple of videos ago, I mean, I don't even know how many videos ago, I talked about looking at houses and moving and stuff like that because everyone knows like I have to move out because the people who live in this house are coming back. That's why I have to move out because I know someone said just keep renting the house, whatever, don't buy a new house, something like that. It's not an option. So I do have to move out. Then I'm going to explain the house situation more like after I've moved out because that's just for safety reasons and whatnot. But basically, I am so stressed and so anxious because I'm in the process of moving. And the last time I moved, I went from moving like everything in a bedroom to a house and now I'm moving everything from a house, which is so much more to pack and get together and go through and everything like that. And I mean, I'm sure so many of you can relate to when you've moved, if you've moved with like your family or if you've moved into an apartment or from apartment to apartment, whatever it might be. It's so stressful and there's just so much that I have to do because I've been living here for three years. So I just have so much to do and obviously it's also like sad for me because this house like stands for so many things, different memories like that I've spent with other people that I've spent in general. It's a place that I came when I was in a very mentally straining, toxic situation. It's a lot, you know, and I have bawled my eyes out about it for today, yesterday, whatever. It's just a lot of emotions, also stress. Okay, all right. And she also would like to talk about it because she's been here about it, right, Lily? She's She loves, like, looking at herself in the camera, don't we all? But anyways, yeah, so I've had so much, and it's just like, where do I even start? You know when you're moving, you're just like, oh my gosh, I have to pack up so much stuff. Where do I even start? Let me go back to the beginning to talk to you guys. Let me start somewhere with you. I might just be saying random stuff because I don't even know what I'm saying. But I showed a few videos ago. I was house shopping because I was like, that was always the plan was for me to move into a house but i wasn't supposed to be moving out of this house originally till a little further into the future i just concluded after house shopping and seeing some great houses that i'm not ready to buy a house i'm only 20 years old what i want might change and i just really figured like i'm not ready for that at this moment in time it was bringing me more stress and anxiety than it was excitement. Like, oh, I'm so excited to buy my first house. No, it was bringing me stress. It was making me feel a lot of things that I didn't want to be feeling. So I ultimately decided instead of like renting and just spending an insane amount of money on rent because it's cheaper to basically pay a mortgage payment than to rent. <laughs> I just decided that I'm going to move in with my dad. So that's basically what I'm doing. And I have not like lived with my dad so my parents are divorced and i always live with my mom like fully lived with her and then we would always go to my dad's house on like the weekends like share custody vibes divorced kids know the vibe but yeah so i haven't like lived with him lived with him i've obviously i mean he's my dad like i know my dad and i go to his house and that kind of thing but when you go from having a whole house to having one room or two rooms or whatever it might be it's a lot of like what am i bringing what is this where's this going what storage unit this and that so much to think about so i just been like so stressed about it and so stressed to the point where i'm just like paralyzed with stress and anxiety about it that i just can't get myself to do anything again i feel like a lot of people relate to this so yeah that's the situation on that that i just want to say that's going to be like this is what this video is so i just wanted to say that so you guys know the vibe of what's going on but right now i'm sitting in my bed and i talked to my brother and my boyfriend and basically we were just like we're gonna make a plan so we wrote like in my planner what rooms i'm gonna go through every day and stuff but also i'm in college so i have schoolwork to be doing and yeah luckily i don't have like a day job or something like that at the moment i'm also applying to new jobs though so there's that stress added on but i don't have a job that i have to go to for hours on a day and conflicting with anything so i'm really grateful for the opportunity that i even can move in with my dad because i love my dad 
and I know like some people don't have the opportunity before it was before I moved into this house like it was a different kind of different situation um, but I'm so grateful that I got to live in this house at all and I love this house so much and yeah I'll explain more of that like in the future but right now I'm literally massaging my back actually I have this back massager on it's so nice and it feels so good because I'm so stressed and also moving stuff my back hurts so bad and I'm not like working out or anything I'm just moving boxes and my back kills me this is from Rob and Brad and they sent me this and I'm so excited about it so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about it it's a back and neck massager it's so nice. You can literally just set it right up. It goes on your back. It has this comfort cushion right here, so it feels really nice. And it has heating on it too, but you can turn the heating off if you don't want it. So this is like the first direction it goes in, and then if you click the button, it'll change directions. You can click it again to turn off the heat, which if you turn off the heat, this turns blue. And then it goes in another direction like that too. So I've just been sitting here and using this because it feels so good to just sit here while I'm trying to like de-stress a little bit tonight before I go to bed because I have a lot to do tomorrow. <sighs> but it feels so good and you can use it like up top on your back or you can use it on your neck or your legs like you can use it a lot of different places of your body it's for your muscles and stuff it's so nice i'm gonna link it down below for you guys so you guys can get it and you can also use my code for 10 percent off the code is easy back oh one i'll put it on the screen also the links will be in the description box below but yeah this is just great to de-stress and you can get it it's inexpensive as well and it's just like the perfect thing perfect gift also i know my grandparents will love this and my boyfriend because he's got back problems if you work out at all too like this is just perfect because you're gonna need those times where you just want like a massage and you can just do this from the comfort of your own home you can read a book while you use it like it's so nice and i'm so grateful for it right now but yeah i just i wanted to put that in there links are gonna be down below so now i I think I'm gonna journal a little bit before bed and tomorrow I am going to move some pretty big things with my boyfriend like pretty early in the morning because I do have an online class that I have to do so I'm kind of trying to like work around everything tomorrow so we're gonna go and we're gonna get like the storage unit start moving some stuff into there and then I'm gonna clean out completely the rooms that I'll have at my dad's because me and my sister like I have a sister, so we both lived there when we had shared custody. That's just so weird to say on YouTube. But um, I had my room and she had her room. She doesn't live there anymore, though. So I get both rooms, which is so great because... When you're moving from a house to bedrooms, you have a lot more space if you have two rooms. So, obviously sad about leaving this space that I have lived in and loved and had so many great memories in. But it's also nice to have a clean slate and going through everything in my house and just getting rid of things. And knowing that when I do move again, I'll have like everything right where I need it. And just the things that I really use after living alone for three years or I mean living on my own for three years I know what I use the most I know what I need in a house and that kind of thing so it's really good and honestly too I'm glad to be able to have the opportunity to move in with my dad so I can just de-stress save up I mean I'm also still finishing college so there's a lot of things that go into it but that is basically the ultimate decision I just wanted to start off the video by saying that because that's going to make sense going through the rest of the video. We're going to try to de-stress and I'm going to use this back massager, which hopefully I think will make me tired too because I just, I've been having so much anxiety. Like I just, I cannot even describe it, but yeah, I love you guys so much though and I appreciate all your support always and yeah, so new journey, that's going to be a good one and I know it will be, so let's do it. All right, I haven't talked to you in a few days because I've been very busy, like, you know, like I said at the beginning, and this whole vlog is about moving. But right now, I am packing up the kitchen. I already did the living room. We moved my boxes uh, from my office full of, like, books. I moved the books that I will, that I haven't read yet, pre pretty much, and some of my favorites, over to my dad's house already. And then tomorrow we're going to move like bigger stuff, some furniture and whatnot. So my office will be pretty much empty. Right now, like I said, I'm just working on doing the kitchen. 
Uh, I'm wrapping a bunch of glasses because this will probably be the most time consuming part. I have like two cabinets full of glasses and then I have a couple of things that I need to unwrap and also I'm going to unload the dishwasher because I ran it this morning so I could basically just put everything in here. But I'm wrapping the glasses with paper towel and I put a blanket under them because my friend Reagan recommended doing that. And to make it that much more bearable, I'm watching Sex in the City on my iPad. And my friend Reagan was just here helping me. And then we moved a ton of stuff just between our two cars over to the storage unit. So we did all that and now this is what I'm doing. So it's obviously not super fun, but I'm just glad that I'm getting it done now. Making sure that everything is wrapped good. I'm gonna wrap this one twice. Yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now. We're about two full days out from fully moving everything. A lot of it will be um, done. I'm getting trying to get stuff done earlier, so it won't be as stressful like the actual day, you know? Because obviously it's gonna be it's gonna be stressful kind of regardless, but it won't be as stressful once I have all this little stuff packed away and done, and then I don't have to worry about that like moving. So tomorrow, me and my boyfriend, like I said, are bringing like furniture. And probably also bring my dresser because i'll just need like two outfits so we should be good on that but yeah i'm gonna continue watching sex in the city my my camera's gonna die we'll see you i don't know when maybe when we're unpacking because the packing part's really not that interesting but i'm just trying to document the whole process and we can talk more later bye all right guys my empty house it's finally time well actually i already moved but we just cleaned, so I'll give you a little house tour. I don't think I've ever done a house tour on this channel, but since I don't live here anymore, I'm comfortable about it. So this was the living room, which I know the floors are looking a little, a little dusty, rusty. Well, they're getting replaced, so I did a light Swiffer. We got the dining room, my kitchen. That was the cat room. Then this over here was my bedroom in the closet everything is so echoey it feels so weird being in here we got the this was my office room it's where i had like my bookshelves which are now in storage because they don't fit at my dad's because the ceilings are like really low because it's like a forced attic situation there and then here's the bathroom very nice bathroom we just cleaned it up my sister did the cleaning in here because we kind of scrubbed everything. We scrubbed the ceiling and all the shower and the bathtub. Gotta turn the light off. And that room was my brother's room when he moved in, but now all my brother's stuff is in there. But that's it. I think this is probably the last time I'm gonna see the house without it being renovated completely. Like I said, floors are getting redone. This ceiling will be gone. It's gonna be all the way up with windows, this is confusing. So basically, let me explain something. So I moved into this house three years ago. The reason that I have to move out when I do right now is because this is my brother's house. So I've been renting for my brother because he was living with his wife, Shay, in Virginia because she had to do like, I don't know what it's called. She was just stationed there for, she's an army nurse. So basically he wasn't here, so the house was empty. So we rented from him and yeah, so that's my brother, Matt. So this is his house and it's getting completely renovated because he's moving back, which I'm so excited for him to be back. So that hopefully answers questions. Cause I know a lot of people were like, why don't you just stay in the house that you're in and keep renting? It's literally not an option. But I'm so grateful I got to live here and spend so much time here. It became a great safe place for me because I moved into this house when I moved out of a very toxic living situation that I was living into for 18 years, which is a very long time. So moving into a space like this uh, really gave me a therapeutic experience in its own on top of actually starting therapy as well. And I did a lot of things in this house and I learned so many things and there's lots of memories created in this house with so many people that I love memories heartbreak literally all of it in this house so i just had to say my piece and yeah but my brother's moving back and my other brother actually lives here too now his my brother chris he actually moved in with me and then we got to live together so it was so cool i got to live with my brother like as an adult for a really long time and he still lives here too so the house is certainly not going to be empty and they're going to get started on the renovation soon so 
that's basically why I'm moving out and a little bit about the house that I lived in and stuff. But I love it so much and I'm so grateful for it. And obviously I've been sad about it and I've cried about it, but on to the next. Everything is going to be okay. Everything happens for a reason. And I'm so excited for my brother and his wife Shay to be back home so I can see them more often because we are all very close-knit family. So that's what I have to say. Okay, it is actually a few weeks later and I'm all moved in now and I wanted to give you guys like a little glimpse, little tour of everything because I just feel like you guys would probably want to see that. If I was watching a video like this, I would want to see it too. So we will do so. The sun is about to set and I have my window open because the birds are chirping and it sounds so nice. It's a little chilly like... 45 degrees so it's kind of warm but i'll give you guys a little tour so right now in my bedroom it's like a little bit messy because obviously i've been like living here so this is like on top of my dresser i have a plant up there i got these prints from etsy and they're so cute this one is the fruit of the spirit just have like my books and random stuff i need to take downstairs this is my mirror right here so it's just the mirror that i've always had it's from amazon i think and that's what it looks like my room is purple as you can tell because my sister painted it purple so that's what it looks like this art print is something that my sister-in-law shay painted for my brother and i song lost that's actually like the cover art um and then my nightstand is a little messy but i just got this really cute it's actually a candle warmer lamp um, and it's from tiktok shop it's so cute and it looks so cute in my room then i have my like little fake sunrise alarm clock super nice some advil because my, my period and then some uh magnesium for when i go to bed and then i've got like all my bible stuff so my bible devotional daily prayer journal and then i have like highlighters and whatever and then down in my nightstand i put all my favorites series and everything and i got this really cute new birth date candle with my birthday on it my bed is a little messy because i was laying on it but this is what my bed looks like it's so cozy and i got this art print from etsy too it says love is patient love is kind that's also a bible quote these sheets which i've gotten a question about are from target they were probably like forty dollars the duvet cover um is from amazon it's like this waffle knit super cute and i've loved it ever since i had it over here i have another art print from etsy that's super cute and then i've just got my dresser from my other house and my little stairs um but yeah that's like the dresser these are just my boyfriend's clothes and then i just have like a little fake plant some products that i use and then this is my fan that I use like every night. So I just stick it right there because it comes close to my bed. Then I have my record player. Records underneath. The few things. Another art print that's super cute. And I like it a lot. This is just an empty basket. I need to figure out what to do with this exactly. But yeah. And then I found my boyfriend hung this hook up in the ceiling for my plant which looks so cute and I love the way it looks and then this is gonna be the this is the air conditioner that will go in my window so that will not always be there then I have my hokas that's my bedroom and then I also have another room that's kind of like my hangout room I guess oh it's a little messy right now because I've gotten some packages and stuff that I have to film content for so I don't put it away until I film the content actually but I have my desk and my vanity here. Here, so that's kind of like what that looks like. It's obviously messy though. And then my desk chair is very messy. It has clothes all over it. And then I have my little reading area. So this is my reading chair, my egg chair, which is huge. This chair is so big and it was hard to get up the stairs, but it's okay. I have this little TBR cart kind of thing, but I didn't end up putting any books on it. It's just storage stuff for now. And then I also have my Kindle there. I also have this printer, just stuff like that. And then this is my bookshelves that I have for now because as you guys know, or you, may, you maybe don't know, I have like big, big shelves that were in my old house in a different room. But the ceilings in here are super low, so I didn't have room for them. So I just took books that I pretty much haven't read yet or some of like my absolute favorites that I give to people all the time. I already had this cubicle thing and I didn't end up needing to buy any more 
bookshelves or anything so i just use that which looks it actually looks so cute i really like the way it's organized in the way that it looks so those are all my books and there are some books like behind them too but i also have milo's picture and a few other things lighter and stuff this is a tripod and then i have my couch which is a little messy right now because i've been sitting here and crocheting <laughs> also my boyfriend brought me chocolate so ignore it this is not cottage cheese i knew that people were probably gonna see this and be like girl you just have a thing of cottage cheese next to your couch me and my boyfriend make candy salad and i use that to put it in there it's just a container my crochet menstruation crustacean but yeah i like put a piece of my couch in here so that i could have that and then my tv so this is like our little hangout spot that's the little tour of where i'm at now you guys just saw like clips of my old house and everything and why i had to move out of there so i hope that that explains everything because i've gotten so many questions and different comments about it and i just want to explain it all in one video so you guys can kind of understand but for now i'm saving money hopefully getting another job soon yeah i I'm really hoping for something and I know everything's gonna be okay and work out but I'm just kind of kind of in like a waiting period but I'm not really stressing myself out because it's not like I have like a bunch of bills to pay anymore but I still have to pay for this little guy right here because he still gets his chemo therapy treatment it's every five weeks so that's the situation with that but I just felt like for me personally it was best to not buy a house right now and it's been like very peaceful just being able to chill out and be a 20 year old because i've pretty much been very independent my entire life because of circumstances that i don't know just because of the circumstances of my family dynamics and everything i've been pretty much very independent in like raising myself i just have been like always taking care of myself so i don't know it feels okay to be taken care of in a different way like a smaller way and i feel like i've learned a lot of that and just being more kid like and not like i'm 20 so not like a little kid but you know still doing things that are like fun i feel a little bit more like an actual kid than you know like a grown woman like i have felt for a really long time which i don't really talk about that much but yeah so it's been going good and everything's been great really and honestly i love my room so much i feel so cozy and safe and comfortable in this room and it's just so peaceful and things have just been really really good so yeah i i don't really know what else to say here's leia the cats in milo by the way are literally loving it here because we have so many windows and they're sitting in every single window my dad opens the windows for them every single day and they sit in the windows and literally just love it milo likes to go for walks and yeah there's a lot to do so they are pretty much loving it so much leia is purring behind the camera right now it's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys liked it i will see you in the next video if you have any questions let me know i honestly don't check my youtube comments that much i don't like willingly want to subject myself to that even though i do by putting myself on the internet but i don't like really need to go look at it all the time and stuff but if you guys have questions you can also dm me on my instagram i pretty much always check my instagram dms and stuff follow me on tiktok other social media if if you want to see me more but i appreciate you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye